Porch giving it back to Longbottom. Here is uh, Stenard stepping, beat one, and he gets it across over on the far side to Ben O'Donnell, and Donnell, O'Donnell puts it on the toe. It sits up brilliantly for Longbottom, and he is in between the sticks. Well, you do not see this very often, the centering kick in rugby sevens. I haven't seen that for a very, very long time, but very effective if you can execute it like that. Well, Mitchell through the middle. He's done brilliantly there to work the ball free in the tackle and get his pass away to Rodwell. That's incredible from Harry Glover. Brilliant finish. This is Glover, yeah, this is great work. Look at that, he uses the handoff extremely well. Transfers the ball, but this is a good handoff. Holding him back, holding him back. Let me go, and he's gone. Seven points to nil. Australia over the United States. And the U.S. now through Pinkelman, taken by Killingworth. Short side, Carlin Isles trying to catch the napping. One to beat in and away, and he is too quick for Stannard. And Carlin Isles, we got a brace earlier on in the first up win over New Zealand. And he's caught Australia napping now, and he's got his third try on day one in Cape Town. They've won five out of the last six against the Aussies. Pretty to watch. Carla Knowles, just that little in and away, just cruising. It's so smooth across the ground. Tap back in terms of position, but it's important that France get their hands on the ball, having a real opportunity and chance as uh, Koch gets burnt on the outside. What pace from the French still going to Bella Sinatra. Telling tackle, the offload. France keeping the ball alive, Perez, the handoff, brilliant, still going, there's the try, what a team try, champagne rugby from the French team, and rightly so, looking for the volume and the celebration from the crowd. Yeah, just brilliant, just too much pace on the outside, Bannercock, not the slowest player to run, got skinned on the outside, and from there in behind, the offloads were good. The chasing down from South Africa was good, just not good enough at the end. And well, Steven Perez had a lot of work to do. Justin Fidel, they're not done yet. The home side over the top pass. He finds it. That's one now. Now the handover. Run now. He's got support. Oh, the bus is full. Run now. What a try. What power! Well, you've got to use the equipment you've got in your armory, don't you? Right now, he's big and strong and powerful. Not the fastest around. Pretty quick, though. But boy, did he use the handoff well. One down. Here we go. This bus is full. And in he goes. Wow, it's a real great show of strength. And it's a fantastic total overall show of strength in the second half here from South Africa. Within a converted try. Of Kenya, three and a bit minutes to play. Some good aerial skill there. Eric Casita, the captain. Wow, there's some interesting skill that you don't see often. Surely that's gone forward. No, is the call. And Lawrence Seboliba is into the corner. He's celebrating. Need to, need to take. And look <laughs> at the skill there. The take and go. The pass on the outside, whatever it takes for Uganda. The race for the corner. On the attack, New Zealand. Finalist last weekend in Dubai. Can they go all the way? Release. Step, step, step. Roy, Cho, Shimi, Ravuvu. Powerful strong. Little offload, the basketball pass over the top has been the secret for him. Keeps going, power and a bit of skill. Still going, Rabu. Oh, boy, oh boy! 
Tell me about that. Difficult customer to bring down, not completing the tackles, Argentina. Cole, and they got punished heavily. Oh, 100%, just using their arms, but Revolver just said, no, he is an absolute freak, the young man.